Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Plasma, your engineering playground. Now any game with the word engineering in the description generally gets me excited, but this one in particular because it's actually made by the Polybridge developers. Yeah, and I think it's like a it's sort of like a sandbox buildy thing with like super complex programming. Oh, what's my shadow? Look at my shadow. What am I? I'm like a weird head. I feel like my head looks like, you know, in Aliens, the queen. Am I the queen alien head? I don't know. Anyway, this is the tutorial bit. So I I think this just sort of shows us like what we can make. So that's like an RC car. We're just controlling it from here. So basically anything you see is what someone's made. So it's not just the car. It's also it's also the box as well. So R switches state of things. So if we do that, we've like we've turned this guy on. Not like that. Oh, oh, maybe like that. Maybe like that. <laughs> wow. So you can see like super complex like programming probably in there. He's not just walking. He's doing like little little face emotions, little standy uppy things. What do we have here? Do not touch. And it's a rocket. Well, that means I'm probably going to touch that. So, oh, that went up. Oh, it hit. I just shot the drone. Yeah, we can also grab this and I think we can sort of throw things if we don't want them. So, I don't know where I don't want to throw it. Like over that way. Oh. Whoa, okay, that, that works a bit better. I've got like super strength. All right, what are these? Buttons? Oh, for different hand gestures. Peace, man. Boost the like button. Yeah, what does it want me to do here? Ball goes on. Oh, is that a wheel? Okay, so this is a wheel, so I can grab that and then I can just... Oh, look, it snaps. I can shove it anywhere. Okay, so we'll shove it in the middle and then press R. Okay, so R and then press F to dock. What does that mean? Oh, look, I'm in. Oh, so you can actually, you can first person like vehicles that you make and stuff. All right, let's test this thing out. Die, bunny. Boosh. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for him. He's trapped. Sorry, mate. Anyway, we can boosh E on that. Oh, we can change like how bright it is. Oh, all different settings and stuff. Look how much it lights up the surroundings. We can make it RGB. All right, what do we have here? We have like a locked door door. So I think this is teaching us how the programming works. So there is a button and there's a door and we've just got to like, we've just got to link them together so that when we press it, it opens a door. Makes sense. So now when we interact with that, the door opens. Okay. Oh, it's like a robotic paddy. Hello, mate. Oh no, look, this is showing Gameception. So there's games within games. I have a feeling it's not going to be long until someone makes Skyrim on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's over here? Plasma at Next Fest. Oh yeah, so depending on when you're watching this, the demo for this came out or is coming out on the 3rd of October. So go go check it out yourself. Oh, so this changes the time of day. That's pretty cool. So midday for the best thumbnails, please. What do we have here? Let's turn it on. Oh, is that a hover block? Oh look, we're, it's, it's a little drone. Can I make it go... Can I make it go higher? Oh, I can. Right, and let's just click on here to see, like, what the sort of programming is. Because it looks like there's sort of three icons on it. There's, like, two things on the top and that one there. I assume that's, like, wireless control. And the others are, like, the steering and the up and downs. So let's do Q. Oh, wow. This looks pretty complex. Not going to lie. There's, like, there's, there's a GPS tracker and a transceiver on it. Oh, God. Not going to lie. I don't think I'm ready for this. I don't think I'm ready to build one of them. All right. We've got a cool Ferris wheel here. What does... Oh, I can make it go really fast. All right. I sort of want to get on this now. All right. We're on. We... Oh, God. This is really fast. I don't like this. All right. I've turned the speed down. This is much more enjoyable. We get a nice little look at, like, how big the map is and stuff. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, down here, there's a... Spider. It's got like green eye. Oh, what does that say? So a switch on its back that says follow. So if I turn that on. Oh, no way. It actually follows me. Well, that's insane. It's following me and it's got legs. I right, tell you what, let's just have a cheeky look at the programming that went into the... Oh, God. <laughs> So yeah, if you want a six-legged insect to follow you, you've just got to do a little bit of programming like this. <laughs> I mean, thankfully, there are workshop items in this game, and I think they're, they're there for the demo as well. So maybe once this has been out for a few days, I'm going to head back into the workshop and see what people have come up with, because I'm not going to lie, I feel like a lot of this is a bit beyond me. <laughs> I'm only a little civil engineer. We don't do moving stuff. All right, let's head into the house of Sketch. What do we have in it? All right, so first off, we're learning how to program a lamp. So we've got a delete what's there with right clicking and then we want the button when pressed to toggle the lamp on so we just drag it over to there and then boosh boosh love to see it right next one so on this one the lamp node is missing and i think these things here are like the nodes so we've got to go to the lamp over here and then drag it on to the screen and then we do the same before just toggle over to that now there's also an there's an led as well so we could drag the led over here and we can say toggle that on as well so i should be able to turn both of those on i think that's an led the square one and that's a bulb so if we yeah there we go nice all right so this one we have a button and we have a 
spinny thing. So it looks like when we hold the button down, that spins. So basically these pink lines, they carry data. So it looks like over here, we've got we've got a number we can add. So let's max that out. Oh god, that's that's a big number. So I think basically this, this pink line carries that number over to here. It says it makes the target speed whatever that number was. And then when we release it, it makes it that number, which is zero. Cool, that, that sort of makes sense to me. So if we press it now, oh my goodness. Oh, that spun pretty fast. I can't believe they actually allow you to spin that quick. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with that. Uh, what does this one do? So, oh, same thing, but just with a slider. So as we slide, the speed goes up. So how do we program that in? So we got the slider here, that's connected to the motor. So the output position is how fast it goes. That makes sense. And then we've got an LCD screen we can connect to. So, so depending on the position, I guess we go from the output position and we go down to content. And then rather than none, we've got to change the content to a number. So let's see how that works then. So, oh look, it's on zero. So as we slide that up, that's how much that's how much speed it's going. So 100% that spins at the fastest speed it's set to. Okay, I'm learning so much here. All right, so for this one, we've got exactly the same setup. And I think basically there's like, there's like a gear in the middle. So the top of this one spins way faster than the top of that one. So that's at 100%. Yeah, the slider's at the top, but that's spinning way faster. It's because we got this percentage mapper in the middle, which I think the values are there. So it's sort of five times quicker or 500 times quicker. So if we just go from the from the percentage mapper number down to the content of the screen. Make sure that's a number. And yeah, then we can see that's 500% faster. Okay, decent. All right, so this one is set up so that as you slide this, like the higher you slide it, the, the words on the right change. So sub to RCE. Right, and then there's another test, which is like a very strong looking test. Yeah, but I think that's enough of that. Let's, let's see what else we got. We're in the building area. So this is where we can finally build something ourselves. Oh, what is over there? 2W. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's different controls. Space. So space to go to climb things. Okay. And I guess we've made it. So that's just teaching us how we can move around quicker. Ooh, what is this? Magic six wheel. Oh, we can ask it a question. Okay. So, um... Shall I build something that resembles the strongest shape? What's it going to say? Not a chance. Oh, fair enough. Well, that's the end of the video then. <laughs> Were you lying with your last answer? Oh, were you lying with your last answer? Possibly. Okay, good enough for me. Let's go do it then. First off, I just climbed up to the top of the mountain because you, you've sort of got to do these things. Uh, look down there. That is a car. So let's get in this by opening the door. Oh, look at that door. My goodness. So we then hop in. We close the door again like that. Oh, decent. Uh, turn the motor on. Turn the lights on so we can see what we're doing. Although I can't really. The, the glass is quite dark in this game. And then we can drive around. What does power do? Have I just given myself more power? I quite like that there's like a little compass so you know like what direction you're going. Pretty cool. Anyway, nice. Right, back over here. All right, so it's build by itself. You just press tab. All right, I think rather than start from scratch, I sort of, I feel like that drone that was flying about, the one that I shot down. Can I, can I grab that? All right, grab. All right, I've got you. Okay, so put you down there. And then, oh no, he flies off. He flies off. Come back here. Come back here. All right, how can I... Can I, like, trap him down there? No, he's too clever. He's too clever. I know. Let's shove him in this building. Right, come down. Come down. Actually, what if I shove him behind this tree? Is he going to float out? No, he hasn't floated out. Okay, so the roof has a hole in it. So I can head up here myself. And look, then I can see the back of it. And what's that? Is that a button? Oh, I've disabled it. Nice. Okay, so now we grab this and take it outside. It does appear like I can't actually build on this thing. So instead, I might just jump on the back and then turn it on. Oh, it didn't take me with it. Oh, no. All right, fine. I'll try and make one myself. So the way the building works is it's like a root device. So this is like always the root thing. So basically everything needs to be attached to that. Oh, man, there's so many different so many different parts to that. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, but this cube is the start of things we need to build. And like when we, if we want to attach things, like look at the level of snap. It's not just the grid. It's like in between grids as well. You we can also flip between which end we want to connect. So if we want to do that, you can then hold control and we can like scale this on the fly so we can make it small we can make it big oh my goodness 
Okay, that's that's quite a big boy. That's what she said. Yeah, you can rotate things as you build them and stuff. You can like change axis on the fly. So let's go to a new world to build it. So this is the same place, but it's completely empty. I assume in the main game, there'll be actual maps. But in this one, we can build whatever we want. So, oh man, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. This is just a demo as well. All right, well, let's start with a cube as our root piece. So you can just go there, I guess. I mean, we can't not put a rod in. It's literally called rod. So that can go on top in the middle. And then we can make it bigger. Everyone likes a big rod. And then that. <laughs> what am I doing with myself? That's looking sort of like what we want. Yep, there we go. <laughs> and then we can shove some thrusters on the underside. I guess if we make them bigger, will they do more power? I'm not sure. Um, You can just copy these, by the way. Literally just by pressing the the middle mouse button, which is pretty cool. So we got a load of thrusters underneath. Uh, next up, we need some way of controlling this. So I assume we go in behavior and then wang a button on the side. So that can go there. We also need a controller next to it as well. So of course, they're set up like that. <laughs> right, and then we're ready to set this up. So we've got one of the buttons and then we've got all of the thrusters. So there's five of them. And I'll tell you what, I sort of want to try and get the... What was that booster thing called? Oh, actually, I can just put power to, like, max in here, can I? Oh, that's only 100%. Hang on a second. Oh, man, honestly, there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff in here. People are going to be making some insane stuff. This is awesome. And then there's me making this. What... What is wrong with me? How, how have I been like, how do I have early access to this? It's really not, it's not fair. It's not fair, devs. All right, so it looks like my only components I can add are actually things that are like wanged onto the side of it. So it's got to be something in here that like multiplies it. Don't know. For now, we'll just make sure when we press the button, it, it turns on all the thrusters. So if we switch state, there you go. Gravity is in effect. Oh god, it's wobbly. It's wobbly. All right, and I guess here we are then. The UK Space Agency. We're back in business in plasma. Let's uh, let's launch this thing. Oh, hang on. We're not in business. I forgot to use the controller. So I think the controller makes things work. So we've got to actually turn it on first. So maybe that will work now. Very much a learning process. All right, it might be. I assume because these are so big. Is the mass so high? So if we go to properties. Yes, 500 kilograms. Oh, we can't actually turn it down. We can only turn it up. All right, so the fact these are up means they they are producing power just not enough to lift up this rocket uh, but whilst looking through here i found my second favorite thing to strongest shapes chains now this game doesn't have ropes but it does have chains so screw this rocket nonsense i'm gonna make a bridge all right so first off we will start with cubes let's just make sure that's on the floor like that all right good so then we just want to build these up a few times so that's pretty good i should probably make this a bit more stable at the bottom so we're just going to add some to the sides like this. All right, so then we have that. So we should be able to copy all of this if we grab the root. So we got that. We'll place it that way. All right, so I'm just placing a few more of these to get it a bit wider. And I can grab that and put it there. Nice. And then for the base of the bridge, is it best to use a flat rod? I mean, I think they only connect stuff to things, actually. So no, that's no good. I mean, a blocker could work. Perhaps I need to do the chain first. So mechanic, chain link. So the question is, how do I 45 degree this? Do they have a wedge? All right, they have a wedge. Let's see how this works. If I flip that like that, and then can I shove a chain link on that face? Yes, I can. Okay, that's what I want to do then. So I'm going every three blocks like that. And then with the chains, we do one, two, and then we have another wedge to connect it to the floor. That one's probably a bit low, actually. So let's detach that. All right, so I've attached this wedge. I've just got to rotate it, which I can do by doing a bit of that. So that is the right orientation. Now, if I grab one of those one of those blockers shove it under there then can i move this ish i think the trouble is i'm not going to be able to connect to like two sides at once am i let's just check if i copy all of this over to there can i then shove those in the middle are they attached at both sides i'm not gonna lie i hate games that have night cycles like just let me have day the whole time i have to build a machine to do that and i don't know how to so i'm building in the dark but it looks like these two sides are not connected. So if I use a flat rod, can I actually connect those? I'm not sure if I can, but surely if I put one on the bottom and one on the top, then surely they are going to be connected, right? They can't go anywhere. Anyway, let's see. Can I grab all of that and shove it over this side? Yep, looks like I can. And then I just need to... I've just got to copy all of these over to here. Try and use flat rods to connect all of these together. And then that might be the first bit of a suspension bridge in the pitch 
Black, come on, game, give me daylight. All right, so if I just copy all this over to this side. Oh, no, no more moving components can be attached to this device. We've hit the limit. We've hit the building limit. Anyway, this was looking super sketchy anyway. <laughs> Uh, if you press L, you can, like, see how it's branched. So, basically, everything branches from your, like, from your root piece. Uh, so, you're not really meant to build, like, loops and stuff. Uh, similar similar to, like, Kerbal. So, Kerbal, I really struggled to build a bridge. Basically, because you're not, you're not meant to. You can't really do that with a branch. But anyway, let's turn that off because the sun is finally rising. I, I did the night shift. So, yeah, basically, with the root thing, if I wanted to connect these two together, I, I can't. I can pick that side or I can pick that side. Now, there's no way of ever... Ever attaching them. That's sort of why I did why I use the flat rods. If I just do like one on one side like that and then underneath do one on the other side, that should mean they can't move. I mean, particularly if I do the sides as well. So yeah, that should be able to not move anywhere, but we'll see what happens. With the suspension, with the chain links, I'm not sure it's going to work now because it's going to be lopsided. Let's just, let's just switch state and see what happens. Oh my goodness. Oh, I broke it. Okay. <laughs> Where did that go? Device one has teleported back. Back to where? Uh, it sort of it went off the edge of the map. Oh god, I think it could be gone forever. <laughs> Gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. Well, turns out building a bridge in the Polybridge Devs new game broke reality. So here it is again. I'm gonna. I reckon we're gonna go. We're gonna go shove this on top of the mountain. Oh, I just found out I can. I can paint it as well. So I probably should have done this first. But let's just paint it a nice orangey color. Right. So there you go. There is my bridge. It literally ends reality. Um, and this is the end of the video. So cheers, to joined guys. If you want to see more of this, I'm probably. I'm not gonna lie. It's probably beyond me to create anything in this game. Way too complicated but super, super looking forward to seeing the workshop progress. Uh, but let's switch state again and watch it go mental. See you later, guys. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Peace, love, and mental bridges.